Greetings mortals and welcome back to the channel. I'm your humble host Simon and you're watching the Library of Gnosis. The Bible has always been a controversial document to interpret, but I will do my best to parse out the symbolism that underlies the scriptures. The Bible, in my humble opinion, is an astro-theological, allegorical, anatomical, mathematical, alchemical and historical document. I will go through the different branches of the concepts mentioned above, starting with the mathematical aspect of the Bible. I will exclude the anatomical interpretation for the time being, as I think that it probably deserves a separate video. We find the first hint to the mathematical aspect of the scriptures in the very first line of the Bible. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1.1. As I've mentioned before, in the beginning God created the heavens, circle, and the earth, square. Some proponents of the mathematical interpretation of the Bible argue that it contains hidden numerical codes, patterns, or symbolic structures. They believe that numbers and mathematical relationships found in the text carry deeper meaning and provide insights into spiritual or prophetic messages. Examples often cited include the use of numerology, such as the significance of the number 7, or the patterns of numbers and genealogies. The Bible exhibits recurring numerical patterns that extend beyond mere coincidence, suggesting intentional design. For example, the use of symbolic numbers such as 7, representing completion or perfection and 40, representing a period of testing or preparation, appears throughout the text. These patterns, when recognized, enhance the understanding of biblical narratives and theological concepts. Numerology, the study of numbers and their spiritual significance, can be applied into the Bible, revealing hidden meanings and symbolic representations. The presence of numerical patterns in genealogies, parables, and prophecies is believed to offer deeper insights into the divine messages encoded within the text. Biblical numerologists analyze the numerical values of names, words, or phrases to uncover hidden connections and spiritual truths. The Bible often employs mathematical concepts such as symmetry, proportion, and order to convey spiritual and theological ideas. The architectural plans for the tabernacle and temple, for example, exhibit precise measurements and geometric patterns, signifying divine order and perfection. Additionally, the use of numerical parables and analogies, such as the multiplication of loaves and fishes, can be seen as metaphorical representations of abundance or divine providence. Next up, we will be exploring the astrotheological aspects of the Bible. The astrotheological interpretation suggests that the Bible contains celestial symbols and references. Proponents of this view argue that certain biblical narratives and figures can be seen as representing astronomical phenomena or celestial cycles. For example, the story of the sun god Apollo in Greek mythology may be seen as a parallel to the biblical account of Samson, who derives strength from his long hair, representing the rays of the sun. Astrotheology emphasizes the use of celestial symbols in religious and spiritual teachings. The Bible employs various celestial bodies, such as the sun, moon, stars, and planets, as metaphors and symbols that carry deeper meaning. For example, the rising and setting of the sun can represent birth and death. The moon's faces can symbolize cycles of renewal and transformation, and the stars may signify divine guidance and illumination. The Bible incorporates cosmological narratives that integrate celestial events and phenomena into the overarching religious narrative. Creation accounts, such as the Genesis story, often contain references to the ordering of the cosmos, the separation of light and darkness, and the establishment of celestial bodies as markers of time and seasons. 
These narratives reflect an understanding of the interconnectedness between the divine, the natural world, and celestial forces. Astrotheology suggests that the Bible employs celestial events and phenomena as means of conveying divine messages and prophetic imagery. The appearance of comets, eclipses, and unusual celestial alignments in biblical accounts is often associated with significant events, divine intervention, or messages from the divine realm. For instance, the store of Bethlehem, believed to have guided the Magi to Jesus, is seen by some astrotheologists as an astronomical event imbued with spiritual significance. Astrotheology explores the connection between the biblical narratives and the zodiac, an astrological concept representing a belt of constellations through which the sun, moon and planets appear to move. Each sign of the zodiac carries symbolic associations, and astrotheologists argue that the biblical figures and stories align with these astrological archetypes. This perspective suggests that the zodiac serves as a cosmic framework for understanding human characteristics, spiritual growth and divine purpose. One example of astrology in the Bible can be found in the Twelve Disciples of Christ. Jesus here represents the sun, and his disciples represent each of the twelve zodiacs. Astrotheology views the universe as an interconnected and harmonious system, where celestial bodies and their movements reflect spiritual truths and cosmic order. The alignment of planets, the rhythmic cycles of the moon, and the seasons allude to themes of balance, transformation, and spiritual growth. Astrotheological interpretations of the Bible emphasizes the invitation for individuals to align themselves with this cosmic harmony and undergo transformative journeys of self-discovery and spiritual awakening. And now we move on to the alchemical interpretation of the scriptures. The alchemical interpretation suggests that the Bible contains allegorical or symbolic references to alchemy, a philosophical and mystical tradition that seeks to transform base metals into gold and achieve spiritual enlightenment. Proponents of this view see parallels between the transformative processes described in alchemy and the spiritual journey or inner transformation depicted in biblical narratives. The Bible is replete with symbolic language and metaphors that resonate with alchemical principles. These symbols serve to convey deeper spiritual meanings and transformative concepts. For instance, the refining of gold through fire, a central theme in alchemy, can be seen metaphorically in biblical passages such as Psalm 66.10, where it states, For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. Here, the process of purifying silver mirrors the alchemical goal of refining the soul. Alchemical processes aim to transmute base substances into a purified and perfected state. Similarly, the Bible emphasizes the theme of spiritual transformation and redemption. Through narratives like the Exodus and the journey of the Israelites from slavery to freedom, the Bible showcases the transformation of a nation and the individual's journey towards spiritual liberation. Alchemical texts often describe various stages or processes in the spiritual journey. Similarly, the Bible represents archetypical characters and stories that can be paralleled with alchemical stages. For example, the story of Jonah being swallowed by a whale and then regurgitated after three days can be seen as an allegory for the process of death, dissolution and rebirth, which are central to alchemical transformation. Another key principle in alchemy is the unification of opposites often represented by the union of masculine and feminine energies. The Bible also employs this symbolism, emphasizing the unity and harmony of opposing forces. We find this in Mark 10.7. 
For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let not man separate. Mark 10, 7 The Song of Solomon, for instance, uses romantic imagery to depict the union of the divine and the human. Echoing the alchemical notion of the union of the anima and animus within the psyche. The alchemical interpretation of the Bible unveils a rich tapestry of symbolism and metaphorical elements that resonate with the principles and processes of alchemy. The transformative language and spiritual messages found within the Bible align with the alchemical goal of inner purification and spiritual enlightenment. By viewing the Bible through an alchemical lens, one can gain a deeper appreciation for the profound spiritual teachings and timeless wisdom encapsulated within this revered text. The allegorical aspects of the Bible are too many to count. Throughout the Bible, numerous narratives are laden with rich symbolism. For instance, the story of Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis is commonly understood as an allegory for the human condition. The forbidden fruit represents the allure of temptation, and the subsequent fall from grace symbolizes the inherent flaws and imperfections of humanity. This allegory allows the reader to reflect on the complex interplay between free will, morality, and the consequences of one's choices. Jesus Christ, an influential figure in the New Testament, frequently employed parables as means of teaching profound spiritual lessons. Parables, by their nature, are allegorical in essence. These brief stories, such as the Good Samaritan or the Prodigal Son, encapsulate moral and spiritual truths within relatable and familiar contexts. The parables challenge readers to look beyond the literal events and uncover the underlying messages about love, forgiveness, compassion, and the nature of the kingdom of God. Symbolic imagery and metaphorical language permeate the pages of the Bible, often transcending literal interpretations. The poetic verses of Psalms, for instance, utilize vivid imagery to express human emotions, struggles, and spiritual aspirations. Metaphors such as referring to God as a shepherd or a rock evoke profound symbolism by capturing abstract concepts in tangible and relatable terms. These literary devices help readers connect with a text on a deeper, more metaphorical level, enabling personal reflection and interpretation. Embracing the allegorical nature of the Bible allows for a more comprehensive and inclusive understanding of its teachings. It provides a framework for reconciling apparent contradictions and inconsistencies that arise from a strict literal interpretation. Allegory allows the Bible's diverse narratives, genres, and perspectives to converge into a cohesive whole, offering a tapestry of wisdom and spiritual insights accessible to people from various cultural, historical, and religious backgrounds. To round off this video, I will be going through the historical aspects of the Bible. One place where I think the Bible is speaking literally is in Genesis 6-4. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and afterwards as well, when the sons of God had relations with the daughters of men, and they bore them children who became the mighty men of old, men of renown. Genesis 6-4 I also so happen to think that the Bible was speaking literally when describing the Great Deluge or Flood. There are many examples of the historicity of the Bible. For instance, the books of Jeremiah and Ezekiel document the fall of Jerusalem to the Babylonians in 586 BCE and the subsequent exile of the Israelites to Babylon. The later books of Ezra and Nehemiah 
described the return of a portion of the exiled Israelites to Jerusalem and the rebuilding of the temple. Now, this has been a wild ride into biblical interpretation. I could go on for much, much longer, but all good things have an end as they say. And this is it for this particular video. Thank you for watching, please give the video a like. And if you want to support my work, then you can also find me on Patreon. I'll catch you in the next video, mortals.